Welcome to Seabird Scientific Training. Today we're discussing data collection in the ocean as an introduction to the entire series of Seabird Scientific University presentations. We're going to cover a number of topics today in this introduction. Oceanographic basics with re reference to the nomenclature that we will use. We're going to look at what a profile is, an example of data from a profile, some oceanographic terms, oceanographic parameters, oceanographic conventions and standards, specifically relative to temperature, salinity, and density. What is a profile? Profiling means lowering an instrument from the surface of the ocean to some depth and collecting data along the way. The instrument measures environmental parameters as it is lowered. Profiling data is the core data for most oceanographic research cruises and programs. Here's a plot example of a profile. In this case, we are using Seabird's sea plot to look at the data. This profile was taken in the Gulf of Mexico during the Deepwater Horizon response on the RV Walton Smith. On the y-axis, we are looking at pressure increasing down. On the x-axis, we have up to four measurements. In this case, we are looking at a suite of instruments, the temperature, the salinity, the dissolved oxygen, and the beam attenuation coefficient. The data that we collect during a profile gives us important clues as to what's happening in the water column at the time that we take the measurements. The temperature and the salinity gives us a sense of the physics of the water column and the mixing and the time history of the water masses involved. The dissolved oxygen integrates a number of biogeochemical processes and the beam attenuation coefficient, an optical measurement, gives us a look at the particle field in the water column. Here are some common oceanographic terms. The mixed layer is the surface of the ocean that is fairly hom homogeneous in properties because of wind and storm mixing. There are multiple definitions of the mixed layer with intrinsic temporal scaling. So for example, we would look at a difference in sigma t or density to define the mixed layer and that, that difference in density would be expected to be larger if we're comparing over the seasonal or annual time scale than a daily or weekly. The thermocline is a region in the profile where temperature changes rapidly. That is, the change in the temperature with the change in depth is locally high. The pycnocline is a region in the profile where density changes rapidly. That is, change in sigma t or another measure of density with with depth is locally high. There are two suffixes and prefixes that show up repeatedly in oceanographic terms. The cline, as a suffix, is a layer where a property exhibits rapid change over a depth range. Hence, the thermocline, the halocline, and the chemocline are areas where the temperature, salinity, and a chemical constituent such as dissolved oxygen all change rapidly. The prefix ISO is a layer, de designates a layer where a property exhibits very little or no change over a depth range. Isopycnal, which is generally looked at, thought of as a surface in the ocean in which there is no density change. Isothermal, a layer of no temperature change. And isosaline, a layer of no salinity change. For example, again, on our sea plot view, we can look at some layers. The halocline is an air area in which the salinity changes significantly rapidly. The isosaline layer is below the halocline, and it's an area where there's very little change in the salinity signal. Some more general terms of oceanographic use. The photic zone is the near surface layer where there is more than enough light to drive plant growth. 
The oxygen minimum zone is a subsurface layer where the dissolved oxygen saturation is at a local minimum. An effluid layer is a region in the profile with elevated particle concentration. Generally, you'll see those at the bottom, and hence a bottom nephloid layer where we see resuspension of sediments, or an intermediate nephloid layer for particles that are shedding off the slope or the shelf or moving into the basin. The benthic mix layer, akin to the surface mix layer, is a near bottom region where shear produces a well mixed layer of the water column. Here are some examples of layers that denote a vertical rate of change. Photic zone, here designated using a PAR sensor, or photo, photosynthetically available radiation, is in the very upper water column. The oxygen minimum zone is a much larger zone in which the oxygen goes down relative to the near surface generally supersaturated area, and a deep layer in which it's more close to saturation.